I hate when my printer does this little dance. It's supposed to be printing something, but it's all clogged up so it just makes clicking sounds. I'm going to show you in this video a few methods of performing a cold pull on your bamboo nozzle. Grab a pair of pliers or grips and let's get started. This first method is assuming you have just stopped your print and haven't attempted to unload your filament. Allow it to cool and then go ahead and power off your printer. If you have unloaded the filament or your printer has performed a filament cut, then go ahead and jump to the timestamp on the screen and in the description. Gently and slowly move your print head to the center of the bed and remove the fan cover. Use the Allen wrench to remove the two hot end screws and disconnect the two cables. Pull downward on the hot end. We want to reveal as much filament as possible to have something to grab. Once you've exposed about an inch, perform a manual cut by squeezing the lever on your left. Now reconnect your hot end with the two cables, but do not seat the hot end back into the extruder, just let it dangle. Contrary to the name, a cold pull doesn't mean ambient temperature and below. Set the nozzle temperature to the glass transition temperature of the filament, usually somewhere between 70C and 90C. Make sure you have your pliers on hand for this next step. Allow it to reach the set temperature and then power off the printer, grasp the hot end by the heatsink and fan. The nozzle is hot so don't touch it. Disconnect the cables and then grab the exposed filament from the top with your pliers and pull hard. If you are successful, you'll be left with a short length of filament, a thin stringy bit, and a cone shaped end. This means that your nozzle is clear, you're good to reinstall it and get back to printing. Congrats, you've done a cold pull. But most likely, your printer performed a cut and tried to unload the filament as you tried to troubleshoot. If that's the case, grab some pliers, the small Allen key, or some framing nails, a lighter, and follow these steps. Power off the printer and slowly move the print head to the center of the bed. Remove the front cover and disconnect the fan. Set that aside for now. Use the Allen key included with your printer to remove the two hot end screws, disconnect the two cables, and remove the hot end from your printer. You should see a flat cut piece of filament in the top, and there is no way you're going to be able to grab that with pliers. Tweezers don't even stand a chance of pulling it out either. Here's where we do something weird, as in don't let your neighbors see you doing this unless you want a lot of questions. Use the lighter to heat up the end of the small Allen key or nail. It doesn't have to be red hot, but it should stay in the flame long enough to get really hot. Immediately ram the hot end of your tool into, well, the hot end. Force it as far as it can go. It will rapidly cool and get stuck. Allow it to fully cool. We want that stuck filament to grip the tool as tightly as possible. Once it's nice and cooled, grab the hot end by the heatsink, gripping the trap tool with your other hand or pliers, and pull it straight out. This will probably be pretty difficult, and will feel like something's gonna break, but don't worry, the filament will break well before any of the metal tools. But if you're like me, and you only manage to pull out a chunk of the stuck filament, we're in business! All we need to do is repeat the steps in the first section of this video. You're going to need a short length of filament, the same material that's stuck in the nozzle if possible. Just about, I don't know, 50 millimeters of it will do? Reconnect the hot end to the print head, allowing it to hang loosely. Don't put the front cover on or worry about reconnecting the part cooling fan. Just power your printer on. Let's cook. Set the temperature to something way above normal printing temperature of your filament. For PLA, I set it to like 250 degrees Celsius. PETG or ASA, I'd go somewhere around 280. This next step carries a very high risk of burning yourself. Please be cautious and only attempt this at your own risk. Wear thicker gloves if possible. After sitting at the set temperature for about 30 seconds, grab your short length of filament in one hand and hold the hot end by the heatsink fins. Do not be a caveman and touch the nozzle. I promise it's hot. Insert the length of filament into the top of the hot end, pushing as hard as you comfortably can, being careful not to pull the cables out of the extruder. The filament should bond with the filament that's stuck in the hot end. If it doesn't, please refer back to the step where we heat up the metal stick with a lighter. Set your temperature to the glass transition temperature of your filament. For the people who jump to this part of the video, it's somewhere around 70 to 90 degrees. Grab your pliers and get ready for action. Once you've reached the set temperature, power off the printer and quickly disconnect the hot end holding it from the heatsink fins. 
Using the pliers, grab the exposed filament and King Arthur it right out of the hot end. Hopefully this pulled out the entire stuck length. If not, simply repeat the process until it's completely cleared and you've successfully pulled out a piece that has the cone-shaped nozzle impression at the end. You may need to go back to the step of the lighter, but really don't do this outside. You have got to realize how you look while you're doing it. And that's it. I'm sure there are several other methods of doing a cold pull, but so far this has been the most successful for me. Hopefully it helps you out as well. If your printer is clogged in other ways, I probably have you covered there too. Check out the videos at the end for that. This video wasn't sponsored, but it was absolutely helped by my patrons, Chris and Cynthia, who are valued Taptic team members. You can be too by joining the Patreon or becoming a channel member right here on YouTube. I need to cover my shelf with names, and if you become a member on Patreon or here, I'll 3D print your name as a magnet for my shelf. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you out, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time.